Hello, today I'd like to take you through the process of upgrading Cisco IP phone software image on a Cisco Unified Communications Manager server. For this example, we're going to be upgrading Cisco 7965 Skinny IP phone. So let's take a look at what software version the phones are currently running. We do this on Cisco Unified Communications Manager CM Administration page. You want to log in with your application user ID. And then navigate to device, device settings, and device defaults. This will bring up a list of the different device types uh, and the default load information for each one. I'm going to scroll down to the 7965 skinny version. And as you can see here, these phones are currently using load version 842 which is a release from November 2008 and is about a year old. So let's go ahead and get a new image for it. And in order to get a new phone load image, we need to go to Cisco's website. So let's go there. And you'll need to log in. And once you're logged in, we'll go to slash go slash software. Voice and Unified Communications. IP telephony, IP phones, and then the 7900 series phones. And the 7965G. Again, we are interested in the skinny version. And 853 is the latest release. And uh, just to note, uh, it does show older releases under all releases, and this may be necessary depending on how old your phone is. It may be necessary to do incremental upgrades before you upgrade to the latest phone, to, to the latest version. And uh, but like I said, we're interested in 8.5.3, so we're going to download that. And we want uh, the SGN version. That's the one you're going to install uh, on, your, on the Unified Communications Manager server. And in our download cart, you're going to see a button down here, proceed with download, but also there is a readme link here. And we're going to click that and then minimize this window for now. We will need that later on. So proceed with download. And of course agree. And I like the Java version. Okay, I'm going to navigate to my root FTP directory. And then I'm going to click open. And it's starting to download. And I'll pause while this is happening. Okay, download complete. Go ahead and close this window. And let's take a look on the laptop and just make sure the uh, file is there in the root directory. And as you can see, I have some other, two other uh, phone loads for 7975 series phones here. Uh, but here's the 853 image that we just downloaded. Okay, so now that the software download is complete, we need to install the new image on the Unified Communications Manager server. So let's go back to the CM server. And where we download and install is done in OS administration, not in CM administration and you will need an administrator user ID and password. And once you're logged in, navigate to software upgrades, install slash upgrade. Okay, we're going to change the source to FTP or remote file system since I'm using an FTP server. I'm going to use this just slash forward slash as my directory since my files are installed in um, in the root directory. I'm going to put the IP address of my server in here, uh, my laptop I should say. Put your username and password in. And again I'm using FTP as my protocol. And then we just click next. Now notice in the drop down menu there are three images here to choose from. Uh, if you'll remember back in the 
FTP root directory, there were two 7975 images. We can see them here. And the 853 image we downloaded for the 7965. So I'm going to select the 7965 image and click Next. And I'll, I'm going to pause the recording now so you don't have to wait for the download to complete. Okay, we're back, and the image is downloaded. Now, in order to ensure the integrity of the file, Cisco generates an MD5 hash value for you to compare. Remember the uh, README file we opened when we were downloading the image off of the Cisco website? Well, that README file has a 32-bit hexadecimal number that should look exactly like this MD5 hash value you see. So I'm going to pull that up. And here's the README file. I'm going to scroll down. And right here you can see the MD5 hash value that you need to compare. So let's take a look at the one we have on CM and see how it compares. And let me see if I can get these two side by side. And as you can see, the MD5 hash values match. So we can uh, safely say we have a good file. So I'm going to go ahead and click Next. And I'm going to pause again as the uh, software is installed on the server. And this will take a few minutes. OK, now we're back. And as you can see, the installation status is now complete. And uh, OK, so far we've downloaded and installed the new image. Uh, the next step is to restart the TFTP service on the uh, Unified Communications Manager server that the phones will download their images from. So to do that, we need to get navigate to the uh, Cisco Unified, Unified Serviceability page. And we will log in with our application user ID. And once this loads, we'll go to Tools, then Control Center Feature Services. And now we're working on the publisher, which is my dot .24 server here. So I'm going to go ahead and select that and click Go. And we're going to scroll down to the TFTP service. You can see that it's started and activated. And I'm just going to select that and click Restart. And we see that the operation was successful. Now, since I have two FTP servers in my cluster, I need to restart the TFTP service on both of them. So the dot .28 server is my subscriber server. So I'm going to go ahead and go there and do the same thing. Let's restart the service. Now if you have more TFTP, more servers in your cluster running the TFTP service, you're going to need to do this on all of them. Okay, now that the software is installed and the TFTP service has, re has been restarted on both servers, I like to go back in and check the device settings. This is where we looked at the default um, phone loads earlier in the video. So I'm just going to go back there, check the device defaults, and make sure that the new phone load is in fact listed under the 7965 phone. So remember earlier we saw 842, we should see 853 now. And as you can see, the new default software load for the 7965 skinny phones is, in fact, 853. Of course, the last thing you'll want to do is reset your 7965 phones to initiate the download of the new firmware, and you should be good to go. Thanks for watching.